church. This is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Our feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. Let us stand. Eternal God, our Heavenly Father, we are so thankful for this beautiful Palm Sunday morning. Yes, sir. Thank you for your triumphant entry into Jerusalem on your way to the cross to die for our sins. And we've come this morning that we they worship thee in spirit and in truth. It is my prayer that the Holy Spirit will come down, rule and reign over our service today. Anoint the voices of the male chorus as they sing the songs of Zion. Anoint the musicians' hands as they move upon the instruments. Nor our ushers as they stand to greet our visitors and friends. This is your servant's prayer. In Jesus' name, amen.
by the choir, followed by the scripture reading, Sister Rhonda Betts.
And when they drew nigh to Jerusalem and were come to Bethlehem, Pitch, unto the Mount of Olives, then sent Jesus two disciples, saying unto them, Go unto the village over against you, and straightway ye shall find an ass tied and a coat with her. Loose them and bring them unto me. And if any man say all unto you, ye shall say, The Lord have need of them, and straightway he will send them. All this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet, saying, Tell ye the daughter of Zion, Behold, thy king cometh unto thee, meek and sitting upon an ass, and a coat the fold of an ass. And the disciples went and did as Jesus commanded them, wow. and brought the ass and the coat, and put on them their clothes, and they set him thereon. And a very great multitude spread their garments in the way. What? Others cut down branches from the trees yeah. and strolled them in the way. Mm -hmm. And the multitudes that went before and that followed cried, saying, Hosanna to the Son of David. Yes, Blessed is he that come in the name of the Lord. Yeah. Hosanna in the highest. Yeah. And when he was coming to Jerusalem, all the city was moved, yeah. saying, Who is this? The word of God for God's people. Amen. 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 You may be seated. Deacon Tony will come and give us our morning prayer. Hosanna. Lord, today in the name of Jesus, we come on this special day. But every day we too is special. Yeah. But this Palm Sunday, yeah. we reflect your journey into Jerusalem. Yeah. Yeah. Father, we thank you because you did come. Yeah. And while you was there, I know everything wasn't perfect. Yeah. But we know that you were perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Though we were sinners, you gave us a way out. Yes, you gave us the keys to salvation. Yes, Father, all these things that are going on in this world today, right. some have made their way your way and we know it's wrong. Some preach you but only talking about themselves. Yeah. Some have confused patriotism with turning down things and made kneeling and seeking you and asking for help from patriotism. Father, we know that people are dying every day. And we know that this is going to happen. But when I woke up this morning, saw the sunshine gleaming through the window. I can only say thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for another day. Yeah. But if you would have chose to leave me asleep, I know I've been thank you enough. Yeah. Some are sick today. Woke up this morning, they can say thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. It's just another day that I can get better. Some are rushing to work, wishing they were in church. But guess what you did, Lord? You gave us the opportunity to pray. Where are we are? Yeah. Father, we thank you. We thank you that uh, some are hungry. But you had food on our table. Yes, sir. And then you gave us a mindset not to forget about me. Yes. Father, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We can't say thank you enough. Some woke up to a mountain that they didn't think they could climb. And some are in the valley which they think they can't climb out of. But I say those two things go together. Because when you get to the mountaintop, you can look over. But guess what? Sometimes things change. You got to come out of that mountain where you're going to the valley. And Father, while we're down in the valley, there's a lily down there. Yeah. Father, we love you, we love you, we 
thank you. We pray that everything that we do, we show our love for you. Thank you for your son. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. Thank you for you, Lord.
presentation that I want to make to a very outstanding young man in our church. And certainly, this says so much about him as a person when I tell you about the honor. Brother Betts, give me a drum roll. I won't be done about the battle to come down here and come up here with me. Get your 
moves them, continue to wear your mask, continue to do your six feet social distancing, and wash your hands often. Your safety is our first priority here at Red Oak Grove. Amen. Amen. Next Sunday is Resurrection Sunday. Yes, sir. And we will be virtually at 10 a.m. Please go to the Red Oak Grove website for our Easter service. Please, again, stay updated with your local, state, and national politics. There are no more off-year elections. We need to do all we can to protect our democracy. Early voting begins on April 28th and ends at 3 p.m. on Saturday, May 14th. North Carolina State Choir primary is Tuesday, May 17th. So please, 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 ma'am, and please, sirs, vote. Please continue to pray for our sick and our shut in. Sister Valley Howard. Sister Aretha Spates, Sister Dorothy Carpenter, Sister Reba Lucas, Dr. Linda Tabern, Sister Doris Lucas, Sister Charlotte Tabern, Sister Annie Boatwright, who has now been moved to Wilson Pines, a rehabilitation center on Crestview Avenue. She's in room 216. And I encourage you to please, if you get a chance to go by and see her, because she probably will have an extended stay there. <coughs> please remember Sister Margarita Morris in your prayers, and uh, please keep Reverend Roosevelt Wednesday in your prayers, Brother Carl Tabor, Brother Eugene Tabor, Brother Leon Tabor, Brother Joe Payet, Brother Frankie Tony, Brother Malachi Moore, and Matthew Wilder. Keep Brother Keith Eaton in your prayers. And please keep Reverend H.C. Eatman in your prayers. So you have to go to earth and care. Uh, and so let's pray a special prayer for Reverend Eatman. Yeah. You know he would be here if it was not for sickness. Mm -hmm. And so let's keep him in our prayers. I want to ask you to remember my wife today in prayer. She couldn't hardly walk this morning. She's having a lot of trouble with her knees. And so please keep her in prayer to them. Sister Dorothy would like to meet with all of the women in the fellowship hall after service today. So all women, after the benediction, please go back to the fellowship hall and meet with our chairman of Women's Day. Women's Day is next month, so she wants to see you after service. I want to say that uh, our store will be open today, not for you to get snacks and sit in here and eat, and over there and eat, but on your way to your eating place for dinner. You might want to show up there and help get you there. So the store will be open for, for take out only. Take out only. Take out only. Amen? Did you hear me loud and clear? Take out only. Amen. God bless you. We certainly want to welcome all of our visitors who have come to visit with us today. May God bless you for coming our way today. Amen. Amen. It's now time for our offering. The usher will prepare now for our giving.
do it for me right now. To God be the glory for the great and marvelous thing that he's doing right now in each one of our lives. From the scripture that was read in your hearing, Matthew 21, 1 through 10. I want to lift up this eighth verse. And this is what it says. And a very great multitude spread their garments in the way. Others cut down branches from the tree and throw them in the way. This morning, I'm going to preach from the subject, the greatest parade ever. The greatest parade ever. Someone may ask, Palm Sunday marks the beginning of what is called Passion Week. Palm Sunday began the final countdown of the two most important events the world has ever experienced. Number one, the death of Jesus Christ. And secondly, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Passion Week it's also called in many places Holy Week. It is referred to as Passion Week because of the emotional and physical suffering Jesus went through on our behalf while demonstrating his great love for us. Yes. And church, I don't know how you feel about it, but I feel the suffering and love Jesus showed us should not be something we just reflect on one week out of the year. We are no longer under bondage of sin because of what took place during the first Passion Week. And so I want to encourage Red Oak that we ought to celebrate Jesus every day of our life. Every morning the Lord blesses you to wake up before you get out of bed. You ought to get your praise on. Tell the Lord thank you for another night's journey. Before I get to the text, I want to tell you that Leading up to the text, Jesus has just left Mary and Martha and Lazarus' house. Just had a meal and they are now walking with his disciples to Jerusalem. And then they come to the Mount of Olives, I think outside of the gate. He instructs two of his disciples. 
disciples. They go into a certain village. And he said, you shall find an ass there, tied, and a coat with her. Loose them and bring them to me. Now Jesus knew before he entered the city that the religious leaders going to arrest him and condemn him and deliver him to the Romans for his crucifixion. Now on that first Sunday, Jesus could have come riding on a Clydesdale if he wanted to. But he came sitting on a donkey. Donkey that had never a man sat on before. But isn't it amazing that it makes no wild, no different how wild you are when the master lays his hands on you. You become tame. I'm glad about that. Because some of us were wild one day. But thank God, he laid his hands on us. Can I get a witness? Now, Jesus could not have come, as I said, into the city, riding on anything else but that donkey. Because prophecy had to be fulfilled. Amen. It's right there, Zechariah. It said that your king will come to you. He is righteous and victorious. He is humble and he'll be riding on an ass, the coat, the foal of an ass. And the text says when he drew near Jerusalem, they began to put their garments down the way. Some broke off branches from trees and strode them along the way. Talk about the greatest parade ever. And as Jesus comes riding into the room, the crowd that went before him and after him cried, Hosanna to the Son of David. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Yes. Hosanna yes. in the highest. Yes. They're coming in through oh, yeah. the East Gate. Yeah. But what the text does not tell us, there is another parade coming to Jerusalem on the west side. is leading this parade. He is not coming to bring peace like Jesus. He's not riding on a donkey. But 
no doubt he's riding on a stallion horse. He has come for war to remind the city that he was the ruling power. I just wanted to share that with you because the text left it out. But let me get back to the text for the morning. And so I ask the question, since there was a crowd on that first Palm Sunday morning, I think we need to examine the crowd and see who's in the crowd. Well, I want to suggest that the first crowd was a curious crowd. This crowd had seen Jesus preach and teach and heal and perform many miracles over a three year period. This crowd had a curious mentality. They followed Jesus on Palm Sunday mm -hmm. because they wanted to know what he was going to do at that time. Amen. They were in the crowd hoping for a blessing. Amen. There's nothing wrong with being a little curious up to a point. But if you've been in the church most of your life, you ought to know who Jesus is. Right. Can I get a witness? Right. And then in that crowd, there were some who were confused. I call them the confused crowd. <laughs> they never followed Jesus, but they still asked the question, who is this? Yeah. The crowd answered, this is Jesus. The prophet of Nazareth of Galilee. Amen. The confused crowd today refers to God as a man upstairs yeah. or some high power. The only part of the script, they, they thought Jesus was only a prophet. They didn't know they were following the Savior yeah. and the Prince of Peace. Anybody who doesn't know who Jesus is, you're really confused. Yeah. And then, in that crowd, there were some pretenders. That's the third crowd I, I want to suggest was there. That crowd on Palm Sunday were just pretending to be committed to Jesus. Pretenders go through the most with their mouths, but their hearts are far from God. But I want to share another song, you can't fool God. You better be real with God. I see also in this great parade there's ever been there were some opposers in the crowd. This crowd always opposing and rebuking Jesus for something. They, 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 they rebuke him for healing a man on the Sabbath. These were the Pharisees and Sadducees. They rebuked him for getting the ark out of the ditch on the Sabbath. Well, I hate to tell you this, but we still have some Pharisees and Sadducees in our churches today. Always trying to trip 
people up. The crowd, these opposed, will never seem good in any situation. That's the, what I like to call the self-righteous crowd. Everybody is wrong with them. Y'all don't want to that. But I see in this great parade one last crowd. I see the committed crowd. This crowd is few in number. The committed crowd has no doubt about who Jesus is. The crowd that's committed takes Jesus and his word. They don't question his authority and power. They do their mission assignment without complaining. Yeah. On that first Palm Sunday, Jesus told them, go to the village. And that committed crowd did what Jesus said. They pulled off their coats, put it on the Animals. Jesus rode on it triumphantly into the room. I can't speak for anyone else this morning, but I'm going to stay in the committed crowd. The sadness of Palm Sunday is that some of those same folk that cried Hosanna on Sunday. Mm -hmm. yes. Cried crucified yes. before the week was out. Yes. But because I'm in the committed crowd yes. and I pray yes. that everyone here today yes. is in the committed crowd. Yes. So we have to shout Hold on in the house. Because we can shout, hold on, because we know that Jesus is the real king. Can I get a witness? The real crowd knows that he's the foundation that never shakes. The real crowd knows that he's the truth that never lies. The real crowd and the committed crowd knows that he is the Alpha and the Omega. The real crowd knows that he is the giver of every good blessing. I shout and praise him because he turns burdens to blessings. I shout because he turns all aches into hallelujah. I shout because he turns problems I wish I had a witness in here. I shout because he turned darkness into the 
church will open. The doors of the church. There might be one. They feel like I'm uh, safe. Give your life back to the Lord. Oh, yeah. What a great opportunity and time to do it now. We know that time waits for no man. So there might be one or oh, if we dedicate. Would you please stand? Would you please stand? Would there be one? Oh, yeah. I'm about to have a warm that to Just come. Every nerve, every muscle, every tissue, every 
every vein, every artery, let the blood flow as an altar flow. You believe in miracles? Even if it takes a miracle for her to recover, we know you still perform miracles. Whatever your way is, whatever your will is, help us to accept your holy will for her life. And we'll be sure to give you the glory, give you the honor, and give you all of the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Peace, both now and forevermore.